welcome to Joey's Tech. I hope you are doing fine and keeping good care of yourself and of those around you. In this video, you are going to learn a problem from the world of partitioning and pairing. The problem goes by the title Counting Ways When a Person Can Form Pair With At Most One. This TP problem is a very interesting problem which is in the foundation of many complex problems that are based on pairing. Without waiting any further, let's take a look at its problem statement. You have five people in front of you. They are numbered 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. That means they are identified by numbers. Each person can form a pair with at most one other person. Remember the word at most. So he can either form a pair with at most one other person or he can prefer to stay single. Based on this condition, you need to find out the number of ways in which these five people can either pair up with someone else or remain single. For example, if there are two people, one and two, they can form a pair with each other or they can stay separated. Hence, there are two ways in which they can either pair up or stay single. These are the two ways you can see. Now pay attention here. Let me add one more person to this arrangement and that person is three. So now there are three people. So how can I add three to these arrangements? First, I consider that he stays single. So the arrangements will be one and two taken together and three single. And the second arrangement will also have three as a single person, but one and two are also single. So basically, I am appending three at the end of each of these arrangements. This means that the number of ways is same as the number of ways for two people. That means when n was two. So I can say that the number of ways when three stays single is equal to the number of ways when n was two. Remember, two is equal to three minus one. So for any n, the first component will be given by the number of ways for n minus one when n stays single. Now, how three can form pair with one or two? So three can either form pair with one. So the pattern becomes one and three taken together and two as a single person or three can form a pair with two. Then the pattern becomes one as a single person and two and three taken together. The point is that he could form a pair with one person at a time. But look at the remaining individual in the two arrangements. That means two in the first arrangement and one in the second arrangement. This should be the number of ways when there is only one person that is when n is equal to one. So I can say for this component, the number of ways is equal to n minus two, where n is equal to three. One more thing to note here is that there were two people with whom three had an option to pair up. So in general terms, we can write this component as n minus one multiplied by number of ways for n minus two. So the total number of ways when we consider both the components, the total number of ways for n becomes n minus one multiplied by number of ways for n minus two plus number of ways for n minus one. When we substitute n with three, then it becomes this. I'm sure that it is too much for you, but in the next slide, we are going to see one more scenario and I'm sure then it will become crystal clear to you. So keep watching this video. Check here. We have all the four arrangements when n is equal to three. Let me add person number four to this arrangement now so that you can understand it more clearly. So let's analyze the first component number of ways for n minus one. When I substitute four in place of n, the component becomes number of ways for three. And you can see that number of ways for three is equivalent to four. We saw it in the last slide and you can see here there are four arrangements. There are four ways and you will get them all when you add four as a single person to all the arrangements. Right. Note that we are working on the first component and adding four as a single person to each of these arrangements. I'm sure this component is clear to you now. We analyze the second component now. Replacing n with 4, the component becomes 3 multiplied by number of ways for 2. 
check these last two arrangements from the previous slide when n was 3. So these two arrangements are 1, 2 and 3 all are single and 1 as single person in 2 and 3 pairing up. Now if 4 forms a pair with 1 then the arrangements become 1 and 4 taken together alright 2 and 3 are single and 1 and 4 again taken together and 2 and 3 also forming a pair. Note that what I am doing I am just making a pair of 1 and 4. Observe here for a moment just forget about 1 and 4 taken together and observe at these two arrangements. If you consider 2 and 3 separately then there are two ways using which they can pair up or remain single like we saw in the case when n was 2. Alright, hence number of ways for 2. Here n is 4. 4 minus 2 gives you 2 and that is what I want to imply here. That is why in the second component we use number of ways for n minus 2. Okay, so there are four more such arrangements possible like this which makes it a total of six arrangements because in the above example four formed a pair with one but four can also form a pair with either two or three that means it has three people with whom it can form a pair so when n is four and it has three people with which it can form a pair hence we multiply the number of ways for n minus 2 with n minus 1. And if you solve the second component, which was 3 multiplied by number of ways for 2, then you also get 6. Thus, the total number of ways when n is 4 becomes 10. 4 calculated in the previous slide and 6 calculated here. Hence, the formula is working now. I hope it is clear to you. If it isn't, then I recommend that you watch this explanation again. It will be clear to you. Let's move to the framework now and based on this formula, solve this TP problem using the dynamic programming approach. But before we move there, I want you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it already and hit the bell icon so that you get notified when I release videos like this in the future. This is an array that we will fill to find the number of ways when n is 5. I am going to fill 1 in the first cell indexed by 0 and 1 in the second cell indexed by 1. Let's find out the value of n equals to 2 using our formula which is sln i equals to sln i minus 1 plus i minus 1 multiplied by sln i minus 2. The value will be 2 in this case. I am sure you remember the number of ways for n equals to 2 from the explanation. Let's quickly fill the values in the subsequent cells now using this formula. Now let's replace i with 2 in this formula and check if we are getting the same value. So if I replace i with 2 then the first component becomes sln 2 minus 1 which is 1. So it becomes sln 1. What is the value of sln 1? It's 1. I'm going to put it over here. Now let's take a look at the second component. So here we have i minus 1. So i is 2. So this becomes 1. And uh, i minus 2 is going to give me 0. So I have to take a look at the value of sln 0 which is 1. So I put it here. And 1 multiplied by 1 is going to give me 1 only. That's the value of the second component. When I add this value to this value then I get 2 and that is what I have populated here. Alright, let's quickly replace i with 3. So this first component is going to give us sln 3 minus 1 which is 2. sln 2 has the value 2, I am going to put it over here. Then i minus 1 will be 2 because i is 3. Okay. And sln i minus 2 will be sln 1. 3 minus 2 is 1. Here the value is 1. Okay. So we multiply 2 with 1, we get 2. 
okay this two added with this two is going to give me four i put four over here good now we are going to replace i with four so this component becomes sln3 what is the value of sln3 four okay let me put it over here this becomes four minus one three and this gives me sln2 so sln2 has the value as two what's the multiplication going to result in six so four and six added together we get ten okay so there are ten ways in which if there are four people they can pair up or remain single now let's calculate the value when i is five so when i is five this component it will become sln five minus one which is sln four here the value is 10 i'm going to put 10 over here this will give me four and this component is going to give me sln five minus two which is three so let's take a look at the value of sln three which is four so i put four over here great when we multiply four with four we get 16 okay and when i add 10 to this 16 value of first component and the second component then i'm going to get 26 so when there are five people standing in front of you there are 26 ways in which they can either pair up or stay single this formula over here is the algorithm around which you can create the program this problem is a very interesting problem and it has been asked in many technical interviews so make sure that you do it properly with this we have come to the end of this video i hope you enjoyed watching this video i hope you were able to grab the explanation i look so much forward to help you with programming and algorithms do give this video a like that is going to encourage me so much and only for this video goodbye and take very good care of yourself